There's no need to talk to her. Let's go. Come on. Well, she's not listening to us anyway. <laughs> huh? Stay away! Hey, don't worry. I won't save you. Who do you think you are? Huh? As your friends, we're ashamed of you. You want to jump because you lost everything? Go to the mountains. Have a look at the poor people and their life, huh? They have nothing either. As you said, you should all kill themselves. You're far better than them. Huh? The college didn't admit you. Huh? The company went bankrupt. Your boyfriend's a liar. So what? In your opinion, all the losers in the world don't deserve to live. As far as we can see, you're just a selfish coward. Come on, jump! Li Chao, let me tell you, you're not allowed to die because your mother needs you. Do you know how important you are to her? You're her hope, hope! I'm not, I'm not, no. She gave you your life. You should know that. You don't have a right to end it. Many people lead a worse life. They don't even have a mother. They want to be you. And have a mother who beats them and gives them reprimands. It's a pity. That they never have the chance. But you do. And you don't cherish it. Do you love your mom? Have you ever worried about her? Did it ever occur to you how she's going to live without you? You're so selfish. Huh? So many people envy you. So many people lead a harder life. But they don't kill themselves. They choose to live bravely. Okay. You wanna die? We'll watch you die. Don't worry. I'll take care of your mom. Jump! Leave your heartbroken mom alone. Let her die in solitude. Mark my word, she won't forgive you. How's it going at the police office? Well, I've contacted them. They don't have any clues yet. We don't know where Huang Zhiyang is from. They can only wait for him to commit another crime. Because of his accent, I think he's from Ninghai. The police officer's right. You can't be sure just because of his accent. You're right. I told Aja earlier. We can't just wait. We should spread all the news about it. How Li Chao was deceived by Huang Jiang. And post an article on the internet. WeChat public accounts, moments, and, and, and forums. In this way, the news will spread. Soon everyone will know Huang Jiang is a fraud. If he's spotted, we'll get the news. It's a good idea. With the help of the internet, we can have a try. The problem is he can use the internet too. If we publish something, he will see that as well. Don't worry. Even if he sees it, 
he won't understand it. What do you mean? Look, we can write in the Yi language. Think about it, there's so many websites in Yi. And we have over two million Yi people. It'll work then. As long as he walks the street, we'll catch him. It's a good idea. Let's write the article and put it online tonight. Okay, I'll do it. Muga, thank you for today. It's fine. Like, they only sent these two photos. Uh, have you ever seen this man? No, no. Uh, you? No. Huh? Well, thank you. If you see him, please inform the village committee. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Shibu. Take a look. Is it him? Uh, no. He looks... more handsome. Uh, uh, I'll keep searching. going to do in the city? I need to go back to the bookstore. The landlord called me a couple of times. Soon called me too. I'm worried. Promise me. No matter what happens, you have to tell me. Don't keep it from me. Secretary Wong, to my surprise, you made it before the delivery date. Our employees worked day and night. We were afraid that we wouldn't make it. Hard work pays off. Congratulations to Gumo. Thank you. Manager Sun, can we take a photo together? We bought some journalists. Yes, sir. Good idea. Please. Grab one, please. you for something? Yes. It's about Li Chao's bookstore. It has financial problems. She's concerned. I think maybe you could help her deal with the crisis. Secretary Wong, I'd like to help Li Chao, but I look closely at her bookstore, and in my opinion, it won't be a success. I even wonder if the store can make ends meet. Online shopping is popular now. Do you know how many online bookstores open each day? I won't list them all. A declining industry will be eliminated from the market. In my opinion, you should talk to Li Chao. Tell her to forget about the unrealistic dream. She needs to get rid of it and make a change. This is the best way to cut losses. business going. 
It's good. We've delivered the samples to manager Sun, and he said we could get the payment within two days. Congratulations. We owe half to you. <coughs> So tell me, how's the bookstore going? I don't know what to do about the rent, utility bills, staff wages. <laughs> Plus payments to publishers and suppliers. <sighs> chow Chow, Shibu and I have a suggestion. You should close the bookstore as soon as possible. Think differently start over again. How about this? Come and work with us. What can I do there? Hey, there are so many opportunities in rural development. Modern agriculture, it's a growing industry. As long as you take the first step, you'll make a success. A growing industry? We're participating in an organizing agricultural production. Farming? Not just farming. It's called a modern agricultural company. Uh, I'm confused now. I don't quite understand. Take a seat. I'll explain. <laughs> now, let me tell you more about it. Secretary Wong! Oh, what brings you here? We found Huang Jiang. Where is he? Take a look. Here's the picture. It's him. It's Huang Jiang. Where was the picture taken? Ninghai City. The Public Security Bureau, they cracked a fraud, disguised as a donation for kids. A Yi villager sent me this photo. They pretend to donate money to charity. In fact, the money secretly goes back to them. They cheat people by fraud donation. Did the police catch him? Not yet. Uh, they arrested uh, three suspects uh, of the fraud. None of them is Huang Jiang. Well, I looked into this. This place is probably Gukuda town. Uh, that Yi villager asked around for me. He says Huang Jiang is probably living in a hotel in Bapu County. Let's go get Huang Jiang. Okay. Where is he? Upstairs. Wu is up there watching him. He checked in with the name Li Jiansheng. Okay. Listen, you and Chow Chow stay here. No, I'm going up with you. Okay. Aja, call the police for help. Okay, let's go. room? The one down the hall. Oh. Hey, wait, wait. Is there a balcony or another exit? Uh, anything like that? No, I don't think so. Okay, go. Lead the way. Who is it? Room service. Why don't you explain it to the police? As long as we're all safe.
Let's go back. Muga? Huh? Thank you... for today. Don't mention it. It's what friends are for. We ye people, we're, uh, grateful. You helped us so much. We are grateful to you. All right. Now we found Huang Jiang. The police will handle it from here. Let's go back to Gumo. Oh, we'll get the car. Let's go. Come on. Do you want me to go back to Gumo Village with you? Yes, I do. Didn't you agree to come and work with us? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Once that bastard opened the door, I rushed in, he ran, but I tackled him! All right, okay, it's all done now. <laughs> okay, I want to say a few words. Today we are here to express our gratitude to our honored guests, Li Chao and Halai Shibu. Give them a clap. Applaud, please. They're not just our honored guests. They bring a good life to us, to all the villagers, and Shibu is one of the shareholders in our lacquerware workshop. Uh, so on behalf of the villagers, a toast. Okay, great. In the meantime, I wish your dream and your ambitions come true in our village. All right? Great. Great. Come together. Okay. Bottoms up. <laughs> yeah, cheers. 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 <laughs> Sit down. I want to say something too. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, so excited today and I'm so grateful to you. Yeah, yeah, I... First, I want to thank you. Ever since I was cheated, you've been by my side encouraging me and supporting me. Thank you. I want to say thanks to you all. You helped me catch Huang Jiang and even mobilized all the people in Gumo Village and posted articles on the internet to get him. Today, you helped me catch that bastard. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's to you. Okay, all right. I'll drink. You don't have to. I'll drink it. <laughs> How can we? Oh, well, we can't let you drink a lot. Come on. One more thing. I promise, as long as I get back my money, I'll invest in Gumo Village. I'll contribute to the village. Okay? Great. Great. <laughs> Cheers for this. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Secretary. Secretary. Muga. Bad news. What's up, Dad? The craft store called just now. They said after an inspection, a lack of wear didn't meet standards. They asked for a refund. What? Manager Sun, please calm down. We'll investigate immediately. Yes, I know, I know. Okay. Uh-huh, goodbye. What'd he say? He said we applied poor quality black paint. They found cracks in the lacquer. And they give off a strong smell. After an inspection, they found excessive methanol. How could this happen? Maybe Jeng's paints are poor quality. We bought the paints from him. We may know a man's appearance, but not his heart. I never thought that Jeng's products are the problem. Don't rush to make any decision. I'll go down the hill. To the wholesaler, Zhang. Tomorrow, I'll go to the craft store and clear it up.
Yaya, yeah, don't worry. Let's check out what's going on. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe there's a way to make it up. I think you'd better find a way to keep the order, or it may cause a huge loss for the workshop. It's not the giftware that I'm worried about. Instead, it's the lacquerware we made together with the giftware and sold by mail order. That's the biggest problem. Besides, I invited journalists over and released the news about our gifts to the European delegations. Now, with this incident, it won't turn out well. Anyway, we have to face it bravely. Zhang! Zhang! Hey, Brother Usa! Zhang, we've known each other 20 years, right? Yeah, that's about right. I often buy from your store. How could you do this to me? Hey, what do you mean? What are you talking about? What did I do? Last month, a young man called Wuha from Gumo Village bought some paint from you. But something's wrong with it. He wants a refund. They said the paints were of poor quality. There was way too much methanol. Huh? Last month? Oh, I don't remember selling paint to you. <sighs> Here's the receipt. Take a look. 14,000 yuan. Did you issue it? Ah, listen. I didn't write this receipt. And this is nothing to do with me. I think you should ask the young man you mentioned. What? You didn't? I'm telling you, I've never met this young man. The black coat of the lacquer starts to show cracks. I can't believe it. Our inspector found the problem. To work out why, experts from the Administration of Inspection ran a test for us. Turns out the black paint is a fake product. It contains an excessive amount of methanol. Here's the test report. Manager Sun, is there any way to deal with this? We can produce another batch to replace these problematic ones. The European delegations are in China now. It'll take them only 15 days tops to travel around Beijing, Shanghai, and Chengdu. As for the production time, I think we're all clear. It's impossible to do in 15 days. How can you produce a new batch in such a short time? Does that mean we've lost the opportunity? I'm afraid, yes. A fall for a gain. Take it as an expensive experience. You have something on your mind, huh? Or you wouldn't ask me out for a drink. Here. Okay. Come on. Come on. Have a drink. Yep. Tell me about it. Adja. Huh? Tell me. If a man makes a mistake, should he hide it or own up as soon as possible? Ah, uh, well, that uh, depends on the mistake. Some mistakes can be hidden, some can't be hidden. The longer you hide it, the worse it gets. Take me as an example. Once I gave Gagamos son the wrong medicine. I told her straight away. And then uh, we took the son to hospital. When we got there, the doctor said it was okay. The medicine I gave him was vitamin C. I corrected my mistake immediately. Okay, okay. I'm talking about my mistake here. Stop the crap with Gagamo. Well, I'm just giving you an example. Okay, go, go on, go on. Last month, Uncle Risa asked me to, uh, buy some paints from the wholesaler, Zhang. But when I got to his store, he wasn't there. So then I ran into Anyu. You know, the young guy that used to follow Hailai Shibu around? I know him. 
He's doing wholesale business now. He was very friendly. He asked me to dinner. Huh. I didn't want to turn him down. So I did the deal with him. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Find the best supplier. It's okay. We don't have to purchase from Zheng. It's not a mistake. It is now. Huh? The craft store, they called just now. They said the lacquered gifts to the European delegations went wrong. It's the black paint. Huh? You leave now. I'll pretend that I, I've never heard about it. I knew nothing. It's so scary. Dozens of craftsmen worked nearly a month just to fulfill the order. If the black paint's the problem, you mean the black paint was bought from Enyu? Hi. How could you be so stupid? I'm telling you, once Muga knows, he'll be mad at you. Why don't you use your brain for once? It's just... Anyu treated me with a barbecue. I didn't want to turn him down. You were bribed with a barbecue? How do you feel now? We're going to suffer. Do you know that? How could this be? It's impossible. All our work, all of it a complete waste of time. Mm. Ah, I trusted the wrong man. It's my fault. I ruined the lacquers. Manager Risa, tell us, what's going on? It's Wuha. Wuha didn't buy the paint from the good supplier, as I told him. He's the problem. Oh, I was wrong. Why the hell didn't I go with him that day? I didn't think for one minute it could turn out like this. Don't worry. How'd you know it's, it's him? I went to see Zhang today. I thought it was Zhang who sold counterfeited paints, but when I showed him the receipt, he told me that he didn't sell the paints to us. It wasn't him. Nowadays, the profits for paint are high. Some unscrupulous suppliers sold fake products. How unlucky is it that we became the victims? Oh. <laughs> I've been talking to you all this time. Are you going to confess or not? I'm not. You're not? Do you think the problem can solve itself? Do you think Uncle Riza, Muga, Secretary Wang, Min, and hundreds of people in Gumo Village will just let you go? No way. You'd better confess as early as you can. Muga's going to be so mad. Wuha, why can't you understand? Let him be mad. What's the big problem? It doesn't hurt. He can be mad at anyone he wants to. You just stay calm. Even if he hits you, you just let him go. You made the mistake. You caused the huge loss in the village. We're all neighbors. They won't eat you up. Come on, or it'll be too late now. Whoa. Get up and come with me. Where do you want me to go? Stop pretending you don't know. All the villagers know about the paint. Come with me. Come with me now! You bring shame on our family, go! Not as hard, Yingwa. Muga, Wuha and I are here to apologize. Tell us, what's going on? Come on. Tell them! You're driving me crazy. I'll speak for him. He took the money Uncle Risa gave him to purchase paint from Jung, but Jung wasn't there that day. While he was waiting, he ran into Shibu's sidekick, Anyu. 
and you treated him to a barbecue on the dinner table, and you begged him for the deal. He was so embarrassed, he just took the deal. You bought the paint from An Yu? He's just a street punk. How can you trust him? I fired him because he stole from my company. Why, why didn't you ask me? He bought me dinner and agreed to offer me the lowest price. And I was too embarrassed to turn him down. And? And then he took me to a store that sold and supplied the paint. We made the deal there. I checked the amount and delivered them to the village. I didn't know. I didn't know it would cause such trouble. Tell me the truth. Did you get a commission? No. I swear it. I did not take a penny from the deal. I just wanted to save some money for the village. A barbecue was all that I got. woo -ha! Hey, hey, don't be angry! Please! <laughs> woo -ha. Dad, I told you to stay inside. Come on, don't be angry. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> woo -ha. For the sake of a barbecue, you bought fake goods from an untrusted supplier. Do you know what it is? It's raw materials for our products. Look at the plate. It cracks. There's too much methanol. This should not be the kind of product we make in our workshop. To make these products, Master Wuja worked late into the night. He slept only three or four hours a day. When he got tired, he just leant on the bed and napped. Look at his hands. They're disfigured. The machine and the paint did this to his hands. And the apprentices in the workshop worked so hard for the products. But what did we get in the end? Useless garbage! Uncle Risa, I got it. It's my fault. Your fault. Some people can be forgiven. Others can never be forgiven. Because of a barbecue, you ruined what we've worked so hard for the last month. You ruined our reputation and the bright future of our traditional craftsmanship. Dad! You! Dad! Listen to me! You have to calm down! Please! Back in. Dad, Please! Take this. Now, now, go! Calm down! You have to stay calm! Come You've on. explained Come it on. to him. What's the point of being angry? That will be it for our friendship. Let me go. Let go! I won't! Ingua, listen to me. I messed up the order. But I can't let it go just like that. I have to find someone. Who is it? 
Anyo, if I don't come back tonight, tell Muga and the secretary to call the police and collect my dead body. One mistake after another. I talked to Mugger about that. The decision on staffing shouldn't be made by one person, but he didn't listen. And look what happens. Who gets the blame for this? Secretary Wang, Secretary. There's a big problem. What is it now? Wu Ha went to fight him downtown with a knife. Oh, this is a big problem. When did he leave? I guess about 10 minutes ago. Sir. And you. Look, T. It's the best. How is it? Mmm, good stuff. On you. Hmm? Hi. Stop! Move! Stop there! Something went wrong with the lacquers. You're to be blamed. Man, it's not me. Sir took most of the profits. All I got is a bit of commission. How much? Three. Three thousand yuan. But three thousand yuan? You almost ruined our village! How do you want to pay for that? Wuha! Stop it! Come on, help me! Do you know that it's against the law? And you, how could you do this? You dare to deceive people? Do you know what you've done? Brother, please punish me. But I didn't know it could end up so bad. I. I, I, I have tons of debts. I, I need money, brother. It wasn't my intention to get Guma Village in trouble. Stop the crap. Tell us, who's the supplier? It's, uh, the one from Grocery Alley. He's the supplier. Aja, call the Administration of Industry and Commerce. Report Sir for selling counterfeited products. Ask them to confiscate his goods. Okay. Well, huh? What can I say? Go back to Gumo. Brother. The products for the delegation are worth 200,000 yuan. With the labor, material costs akin to zero. We could lose another 100,000. I'll make it up for you. The police recovered 1.2 million yuan for me. I want to invest in the workshop. That's what I promised. I don't think so. Use the money to clear the debts at the bookstore. When we sort things out here, we'll welcome your investment. I agree with Secretary Wong. If you invest now, it just complicates things more. Oh, and I forgot something. Not just the gifts for the delegation. We also sold a total of 100,000 yuan of products online. What do we do with those products now? We've sold them. What can we do? There's no other way. We have to recall them. For those sold online, refund the customers and recall the products. For those sold in retail, put a notice in the newspaper. Tell the customers to send their products back, we'll pay. Wait a minute, in the newspaper? I can't agree with that. It means we're telling everyone that our products are of bad quality. Who will buy our products then? Even if we have to close down the workshop, we have to own up to our mistake. This is how we do business. This is what a human should do. A company which doesn't dare to admit its mistake has no future. 
Besides, it's related to the reputation of Gumo's business. So no matter what you say, we have to recall the products without delay. Take a seat. What is it? What's so urgent? This morning I checked the accounts for the workshop. There's less than 30,000 yuan left. And we're about to do the refund and recall. It's not enough money. Yeah. Secretary Wong and I are working on that. Rest assured. I can't. What can you do? We're thinking of raising money from the villagers. After all, the workshop belongs to all of us. With the help of all the villagers, we can make it through. As a shareholder, I can't agree with such financing. Villagers are finally making some money from their hotel operations. We can't ask them to make up the losses of the workshop caused by bad management. I don't agree. Do you have a better solution for it? I think we should sublet the workshop to a bigger company. And that way we can get rid of the problem. Sublet? <laughs> 